I briefly wanted to get Leanne McAdoo, one of our great reporters here at InfoWars on the radio and also on the TV, on because tonight she's going to have an in-depth piece on an Adon Salazar article that she uh, worked on with him dealing with all these new apps coming out to tattle on your neighbor if they leave their lights on, to tattle on your neighbor if they're not you know, watering on the wrong day, to tattle on your neighbor if they're not composting properly, to tattle, you know, the green police. Well, now they have apps the government's out there promoting uh, that, that allow you to report guns. You've seen the billboards up in the last decade that say, report illegal guns. They have them in Texas and it shows a revolver or a shotgun. Those aren't illegal. I mean, there's only a few cities like D.C., New York, where they're illegal, and that's unconstitutional, the Supreme Court said five years ago, in D.C. versus Heller. So, but it creates the illusion that they're uh, illegal and will have false reports made. And folks, I see it even in Texas. You put your deer rifle on your truck, even in semi-rural areas, and somebody who doesn't understand that it's legal calls the cops, they still pull you over and freak out and sometimes take the gun because it's like a holy sacrament in the tattletale world to always respond to their fake complaints, their Stasi complaints. But then your car gets stolen, your house gets broken into, and the police are like, sorry, we can't come out. I've had my car stolen in Austin and in Dallas. And the police wouldn't come out till I hung the phone up in Dallas one time. And the cops show up five minutes later, push their way into the apartment, when I open the door, this is back when I was younger and you didn't know how to respond. Started searching things going, why'd you hang up 911? Well, you said you couldn't help me. You weren't given permission yet. Now, and I was on the phone like 10 minutes, so you can't help me. If they ever find the car, this is where I call to see if they tow truck it in and then I'll be charged for the tow trucking. And sure enough, they found it all chopped. You know, the engine taken out, parts of it, the wheels. And I was like, okay, whatever. Wasn't even rude, just hung up. Boom, five minutes later, cops are there. So here to briefly talk about uh, what's coming up tonight on the Nightly News, 7 o'clock Central, is Leanne McAdoo. Leanne, tell us about this story. Well, it's the United Stasi of America. They strike again with uh, this app is going to crowdsource your neighbors to build a de facto gun registry. So, and it's not just, you know, illegal guns. It's they want all the guns. Anyone who they think is a first-time gun owner who might not be familiar with the basic rules of gun safety... Um, so they want to create fake cases, yeah. send cops out. This is incredible. This is a anti-gun Stasi. Yeah, that's well. That's their mission is to influence the national policy with this app. Uh, it says it right there on their website. To create an anti-gun witch, witch. I saw a witch. Yeah, exactly. Maybe we can start throwing gun owners into the water with lead weights on them, and if they drown, <laughs> it proves they weren't a witch. But if they float, we burn them. Right. Well, the Gestapo now they have a new tool. It's now it's not just word of mouth tattletaling. Now they have this app that you can basically flag any home where it's a first time gun owner. Um, you know, if someone has an NRA bumper sticker, they might not be that bad, but they're probably also, you know, very anti-government. Yeah, so it actually says if they have that, go ahead and yeah. report them. Yeah, it says if they have an NRA bumper sticker, they, they're, they may already be kind of letting you know that they have a gun on the property, but you might want to go ahead and flag it just as a warning to others. So it's just... This is terroristic in my view. You know, they've lost lawsuits over this, and uh, newspapers have gotten in a lot of trouble when they publish concealed carry holders at home addresses, which is like, hey, here's the place to go rob if you want exactly. guns. Like people putting that on Facebook <laughs> so they know where to come rob. And so there's been lawsuits over this. And, and, and you're saying on the app page, because I read your article mm -hmm. with Adon, but, but on their page, they actually say flag in a public app system exactly. where the guns are at. Exactly. And it says to get really descriptive on what you think the person's mental health is. If you think they are someone who has a mental issue, like it, it I mean, it says be descriptive and mark it and flag it. And there's no opt out option. You can't challenge an erroneous marking. It's just someone can flag your spot. But it says if, if you know that the person's a criminal or if there's, you know, gangster stuff going on, you shouldn't mark it. Oh, no, no, because that's probably being run by Acorn. Well, it's because probably being run by Obama, so you don't. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. You can't go mark 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. You know what I mean? Or <laughs> all the new IRS people with their uh, their new guns. Yeah, that congressman was trying to get a tour to go. Why are they buying billions of bullets? And he walks into the training center, and it's IRS agents with M16s. Yeah, you know, literally <laughs> shooting targets of women and children. Well, I mean, uh, wow, <laughs> wow. Don't mark the criminals, though. Because they're not going to pay their taxes, so they got to. See, go. when I saw this story and went to their site, and saw, I couldn't even believe it. It's like it's satire, but it's not satire. Tell people about the group. 
Uh, well, the group there, uh, the it's the Gun Geo Marker. They have a few other apps out, but they're they're useless. And we'll put the article on screen for folks <laughs> there that are watching us on TV. Its new app allows its users to tattle on gun owners. And it says apps uh, website encourages users to report gun owners who hold anti-government political views. Exactly. I mean, this is the citizen Stasi. Yes. Ahead of them, staging whatever they stage and coming after us. My goodness, this is the gun geomarker app created by a group called the uh, Walking Tools Laboratory and available through the Google Play Android Marketplace says marking dangerous sites on the app map will let you and others be aware of the risk in your neighborhood. People have asked me to do an app like this, Leanne. But, you know, about globalist or New World Order people, but I won't do it because they'll put innocent people on there. And I'm not going to organize some deal. I mean, I think legally and lawfully, you really can't do this. Uh, we could create something where we vet it's a globalist and then I put my name on it. But still, that'd be a huge responsibility. They have a name for this. This is called ultra dangerous witch hunt. Yeah. A high tech lynching. Oh, man, this is creepy. Uh, wow. I mean, people got to read the rest of the article. This should be national, national news. Any other comments on this? You're going to be covering it more tonight on the Nightly yeah, I'll News? Yeah, having a full report on this uh, tonight on the InfoWars Nightly News. And yeah, I don't think it's going to do very well. It's already got over a <laughs> thousand, two thousand comments from people saying this is ridiculous. I hope you get sued. If you ever put my information up there, you know, I'm going to take you down. So they've been on Fox News like defending, you know, this is we're just trying to save kids and this is, but it's not. It says it says right there on their website, they want to change national policy with this app. Well, that's why they put billboards up. I've been all over the country that everybody's seen them. I've done reports and shot video where it shows a, a, a revolver. Last time I saw one was a couple years ago in Galveston. I, I took a shot of it, I think tweeted it. But it says report illegal guns. Yeah. And I had a carpet cleaner in my house 15 years ago who saw a shotgun. I didn't have kids then, you know, on the wall in a gun rack. And he started freaking out because it was a black pump, like $300 at the time, um, Winchester Defender. And he, he saw it, started going, I, I can't, I got to, uh, and left. And I'm like, you're not calling the cops on me. Uh, uh, uh. And then I called the place. Is he calling the cops? Well, sir, we, he called us. We, we understand. But he isn't comfortable cleaning your house. And I was like, okay, I mean, it's a witch hunt. Man. Yeah, this is basically like the same thing that they're doing with uh, pedophiles. And they're basically equating gun owners with building a database. Yeah, but if you had a database people. saying, I think this guy <laughs> looked weird at my kid while he was watering his lawn, you know, maybe the guy's having a, a, a pain in their head or something. You know, there's been so many times back when I lived near neighbors that, that I'd be in the yard watering something, talking to myself or <laughs> like picking my nose or whatever, and I'd look up and the neighbor's looking at me. I mean, what, I look weird? Now they're going to like, I think he's a pervert or something. You know, he's... <laughs> <laughs> He's got mustard exactly. stain. Yeah, that's what this whole thing is about. Based on user feelings about the situation. It's That's it. It's like, do you think this person's able to... That's how it was in the Soviet <laughs> Union. I think yeah. you might be anti-communist. Well, two years in a labor camp. That'll teach you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> By the way, the Army Manual says they now have re-education centers. That's the thing why I freak out on here, Leanne. This stuff, look at these FBI reports. Then we're going to our guest, Larry Pinckney, till a little bit in the next hour. He's on the line now via video Skype. They have hundreds of these every year they put out, Communities Against Terrorism. And it says, using cash to buy coffee, uh, <laughs> political indicators of terrorist activities, and rental properties, talks to renters, ask questions. They say in here, are nice to police. That's why I've walked up to cops, oh hey, how gosh. you doing, guys? They'll go, why are you talking to me? Yes. I, you know, we're not supposed to talk just to slaves. <laughs> I've noticed that. That's just paying for your morning coffee with cash, a potential terrorist activity. By the way, this is not Monty Python, folks. <laughs> I mean, there's hundreds of these. We wrote articles about them a few days ago. Um, it's the people that make frequent references to the U.S. Constitution. Yeah. Yeah, they're terrorists. If you believe in liberty, it's terror. Ter but why do they say if there really are, like if you actually see them shooting people or you actually mm. see them dealing drugs, do not mark them. Well, that's just one of the flaws in the app. It only lets you tag a place that you are physically standing at the location. So you have to be able to stand there for up to a minute and mark the place well, and say, oh. <laughs> Steve Quayle was told, uh, he was told, the, the uh, radio host, author, two years before that they were going to mark our doors so that they could raid people's houses and they were marking it for gun owners. And everybody freaked out on him. And you know what? It turned out that was true. So see, and then he says all this other stuff and I'm like, is the rest of it true? Yeah, it, it's like, it just gets weirder. It's like when I heard they have fetal tissue in Pepsi. I'm like, that's not true. Yeah, that's Then it's true. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean, it's like, what, what is going on here? It's like, we are living in bizarro world. 
when's Bizarro going to fly by? I mean, it's, it's <laughs> like, uh, I know we just need Bizarro on the green screen. <laughs> Well, listen, uh, Leanne, uh, you're going to be covering this in depth tonight, Nightly News, 7 o'clock Central. Anything else you want to add? Absolutely. Just thanks for having me. And I guess everyone go and review the app. Don't, don't, don't tag me. <laughs> the fact that we have concealed carry guys that work at the office. We can't tag the Department of Homeland Security and the IRS and all that because we're not physically there. So we want all of our listeners to go tag the White House. And That's actually a good way to counter this. <laughs> Just go tag. Uh, there are criminals there. <laughs> well, it's like Akron. You walk in, you go, I've got underage sex slaves. I don't run the op. Well, we got people to work with you. And they go to office after office because that's, I mean, this is a criminal organization. Yeah, exactly. Go flag the dangerous gun owners. We know where they're at. Well, if you've got an NRA sticker, by all means. Oh, for sure. Well, no, I've seen that on Discovery <laughs> Channel. They had a thing called Inside the LAPD. It was, it was called an Inside. This, this, too, was about 15 years ago. I played the clip on air. People couldn't believe it. And an old vet had died in his house. He hadn't been out in five days. So the neighbor calls the police. They come in and the cops make fun of his dead body in L.A. And then go, I want this gun. I'm keeping this one. Oh and they go, look at this scum. He has an NRA sticker on his Bronco. And they go, look at this scum. And show an NRA sticker. That's how evil our government is. Yeah, because responsible gun owners. They actually said, look at this scum. <laughs> and then they made fun of his dead body and went, woo. Uh -oh. And had a sheet over it and like, well, look at all these rifles. And then stole the rifles on TV and said they were going to keep them individually. Wow. See, that's how they pimp you. They openly commit crime on TV, desecrate a dead veteran's dead body, uh, uh, call him scum for an NRA sticker. The cop's sitting there with a gun. You know, he's got a gun. He's going, well, look at this scum. Just look at mm -hmm. this scum. Just look at this. It, 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 it's, it's incredible. I mean, and the thing is, it sounds crazy. It's all over the top. Thank you so much, Leanne. Thank you. We're going to go to break and come back with Larry Pinckney for this segment into the next and a little bit with Wayne Madsen. And then after Wayne Madsen leaves us in studio, he's here for Obama Deception uh, 2, we're going to have James O'Keefe on, uh, the guy that brought down Akron and more. And talk about courage. Talk about talk about huevos. This man's got him. We sell the book, Breakthrough at InfoWarsStore.com, all the other great films and books. And, ladies and gentlemen, Beyond Tangy Tangerine 2.0, non-GMO, totally organic, hundreds of different uh, d incredible ingredients in here, 90 essential minerals, probiotics, prebiotics, amino acids, essential cofactors, and more trace minerals, whole food. This has an 8,000 total ORAX score. The old Beyond Tangy Tangerine that I still love has 5,000 something. Where is it available, discounted, out of the gates? InfoWarsHealth.com. There's also a phone number there on the side if you want to call and ask any questions or help walk you through it. It's very easy. But if you need any help getting signed up for auto ship to get free shipping, that's a big savings. Sign up to be a distributor and get a big discounts. It's $10 to be a distributor. And your purchases do what? They fund hardcore liberty organization that is crazed for liberty going 110% against the enemy with our tongue hanging out, okay? So when you support us by getting the, the, the best vitamins, minerals, health products, it's all there, over 400 products, the free online catalog, InfoWarsHealth.com or 888-789-9277, 888-789-9277. Today, folks, call, get your Beyond Tangy Tangerine 2.0, and all the other Osteo FX uh, 2.0, they now have that in a powder form, which I like because I didn't like the way the liquid stuff tastes. It is really the best stuff out there. I go find the very best stuff, InfoWarsHealth.com. And you can also go to InfoWarsTeam.com and sign up to be a distributor as well. Both sites, basically, I always like to have two to have a backup. Uh, but it's InfoWarsTeam.com or InfoWarsHealth.com, 888-789-9277. InfoWarsTeam.com or InfoWarsHealth.com. Beyond Tangy Tangerine 2.0, Citrus Punch Fusion, the ultimate multivitamin mineral complex, available now. Out of the gates, InfoWarsHealth.com. Larry Pinkney's next. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at InfoWars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at InfoWars.com slash show.